Hi everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I am going to show you how to make this jar opener. Alright, so what you're going to need is some acrylic yarn, a 4.0 millimeter hook, a scissors, you're going to need a needle, which I don't happen to have right here, just on the ends. And this is what I bought to use it. Um, this is actually um, the stuff that you buy to put underneath your rugs to make your rugs not slip. It's actually very, very grippy. I think it's better than shelf liner. So this is what I'm using to make my jar openers. Um, what I did was I did notice when I bought it that... This end right here isn't very strong, but this end is strong. So I ended up having to use two pieces. Um, this no, this grip stuff that I got um, was from Dollar Tree. So I ended up taking two pieces and then I had to turn them so that I have one strong side on each end so that the ends didn't rip. All right, so what I am going to do so I am going to get my yarn on my hook. And then I am going to slip stitch right in one of these corners. Doesn't matter which one. And then I am going to chain one. Kind of move that over a little bit. And then I'm going to put three single crochets in this first square right here. So one, two, three. All right. Now I did notice I've done a couple, I've done like five of these already. Um, your squares do not match up. So you're just going to try to keep it as even as you can going across. Cause if you see like right here, it ends up in the middle. So what I do, what I did was I just single crocheted all the way across to put them together just like this. And then I'm just going to try to keep them nice and even so I'm even at the end. See now if you look, I have these first how many here are good and then I have these in the middle of here. So in a couple of these I'm going to have to put an extra stitch just so this stuff doesn't move too far out of whack so it does it's so this all stays even but you can tell when you're, you're single crocheting across there whether or not it's staying even or not so I'm just gonna keep it together just kind of spacing my single crochets out normally. Trying to go in each square, but when you have this right here, sometimes you have to put two in there so that you can keep these straight. All right, so that is my first row right there. Then, get this out of here. I'm going to do what I did in the first one and I'm going to put three single crochets in the corner. So I'm going to do single crochets all the way across and then the corner I'm going to put three single crochets. So I'm going to try to keep this again as even as possible and just and try to crochet a little bit looser too so this doesn't bunch up as much because otherwise the corners start to tend to, to curl too much. So you want to make sure that you're crocheting pretty loose. And just keep it lined up and if you notice you have too big of a gap in one of them you can put two single crochets in one of these boxes. Keep. See right here, it's kind of getting a little bit off track. So I want to make sure that I keep these together straight so I end up with these two squares on the end. 
So I might have to put an extra stitch in one of these. I did notice that the regular shelf liner stuff, um, you don't, I don't, I don't know if you need to use two or not. I don't know exactly how the ends are on those, but I'm pretty sure those are like completely square and those match up or these on the rug grip, this rug grip stuff, they're more rectangular. So that's why they're not matching up. All right, so I am going to finish crocheting to the end here, my single crochets. I'm gonna put three single crochets here, single crochet, three single crochets, and then single crochet across, and then I will come back and show you how to do that. All right, so I got all, every, and crocheted all the way around. I'm gonna put a single crochet in this last one right here. And then I am going to take this first one right here and I am going to slip stitch into there. Then I'm gonna chain one. And then what, I didn't like the way that this looked just like this. So I decided to do a single crochet all the way around again. But I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my work and then I'm actually going to chain, oh yeah, I already chained one. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put three single crochets back into this first one. Now, this is, you're crocheting around quite a bit right here, so they're gonna have to crochet a lot looser to get all the way around your already single crochets. So I'm gonna go all, just keep doing single crochets over the back side of the single crochets that I already did. And I think that that gives that a really neat looking edge. I like that compared to just the single crochet. So I am going to just keep going around doing single crochets. And remember, you're going over this, you know, it's thicker here with that other single crochet. So you gotta kind of pull your yarn up a little bit more than you would normally when you're crocheting. So grab it and just kind of pull it up. Grab it and pull it up. All right, I'm at the, I am at the end of that row and I'm still, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three single crochets in this end one right here. And then I'm just gonna keep single crocheting all the way across. So I am going to single crochet in this whole row right here. Then I'm gonna put three single crochets in the end and then single crochet three in the end, and then I'll come back when I get up to here. Okay, I am almost at the end here, just a few more to go. I just wanted to show you two again one more time what the difference in these this edge looks like. I think it looks way better with a thicker edge. I'm just gonna keep going across here. Remember what I said too, when you go back on the outside to crochet, Make sure you pull this yarn up when you're doing it. Because it has to go, you don't want it too tight. And it has to go up around the single crochets that you already have there. Got that one already. All right, so Actually, this one looks like it needs one more. Okay, so I already had three single crochets in here, but looks like I need at least one more here to tie it up and make it look nice. Okay, so once I have this here, I'm gonna slip stitch back into this 
stitch over here to tie the end together like that. And then I just am gonna snip the yarn and then pull the yarn through. All right, and then I'm gonna get a needle and I'm just gonna tuck these ends in here. Remember when you tuck the ends in, you go in one way, out the other, and back out the other. And you know, at least you do it three times to make sure that it, the ends stay in. So there you have it. It looks really cute. This is, you can use to open lids on jars. Um, I really like this. I got it from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's a lot grip, grippier than what the shelf liner is. So this is the stuff. It's basically a rug underlayment to keep your rugs from slipping. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed your video. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, subscribe to my channel. I hope to have a lot better things or newer things, greater things coming in the future. Take care. Thank you.